expected what was easy but i never really thought that things would get so hard i think we're good you look nervous Are you nervous the first new uniform in 50 years <laughs> hope they get it your eye is that a bruise i guess i need another touch up did i looks worse than it is Look, fiona i'm sorry i feel terrible you should you hurt me you didn't tell anyone what happened i rocked the boat over nothing <sighs> i say it's showtime There's the budding designer herself. Who's ready for a fashion show? You all know Fiona Coyne, designer extraordinaire? A new school year is an opportunity for change, so I present to you my original Vanderbilt uniform designs. Are we sure this isn't too much pressure? Oh, you worry too much. Here's our classic crest with a contemporary twist. Green to represent our commitment to the environment. Blue borders to reflect our efforts to help those in need around the world, and brown to keep us grounded in our community, aiding those in our own backyards. Young lady, an institution's crest should not be tampered with. I suggest you find some other outlet for your creativity. Uh, oh, I just thought... With all due respect, the original crest, I mean, the reference to burning witches, it's a little outdated. Or is that still important to you? I'll shut him up. Let's kick this year off with a toast, shall we? Excellent. Okay. This is gonna sound crazy, but I need a favor. It's actually kind of the biggest favor anyone will ever ask. Ever. When Sav talks to you, can you, like, pretend that you're pregnant with this baby? What? Only until elections are over. Oh, that makes it much more reasonable. Look, you wanted revenge. This is it. The school will never elect a baby daddy as its president. <sighs> he broke your heart on you. Only till elections are over? Then you're baby free. Why do I suddenly crave pickles and ice cream? Maybe Daddy Bandari can pick some up. <laughs> Man, girls are complicated. Me? Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, super complicated. The ranking thing? That was weak. I gotta be direct. Tell Ali where I'm at. She's the one, isn't she? Whoa. <laughs> Don't say stuff like that, Wes. She's coming, she's coming. Uh, wish me luck. Good luck, Dave. Good morning. Hey. The girl can't be in a good mood? No, yeah, of, of course. Listen. What is that? Well, you've inspired me to put my own little list together. See for yourself. Have a nice day. The grassy losers. Well, there's me. And you're number one. Oh, great, that's bad. I know it's day one, but I thought we'd dive in and get our hands dirty. I want you to mold your clay, and then we'll bake it in the oven for nine minutes. Hey, uh, is it true? Is what true? Is there really a 
baby in progress in there? Yeah. I need to make a vase now. Why didn't you say anything? It's not like you were talking to I, me. I would have made an exception. Whoops. Well, are, are you keeping it? Like him or, or, or her? I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think, yep. And uh, I'm, I'm the dad? Yes, who else? Well, I, I thought you took the morning after pill. Well, I guess I took it too late. Don't worry, I don't expect any help from you. Anya. Um, unless you're about to break into Unchained Melody, it's best you go now. to the most drama-free event the coins have thrown in years. I promised things would be better once we were back among our people. I'm so proud of you. And those uniforms, they're good. The school is going to have to consider a change. I told you, you don't need to worry. No more embarrassing tabloid photos for either of us, right? No tabloids, no drama. In fact, you'll hardly know I'm here. Well, to a normal life. Oh, just let me get more OJ. Homework table? Always. Uh, I have some news. It cannot be better than mine. Your father said Cousin Anil agreed to print posters for your campaign. The first Bandari president. Stop. I'm not gonna run for president. What? How am I going to explain that to Cousin Anil? I have too much on my plate this year. I have responsibilities. Responsibilities? You're a teenager. You know, when your father was your age... Dare me, Mom. You and Dad can't make me do this. You're right. We can't force you. Sometimes I think maybe we made your life a little bit too comfortable. <laughs> Missed you at school? The official word was you were sick, but I did notice that Barney's was having a sale. Hilarious. Are you still sick? Just a headache. Can you just go? Sure. Fee. <laughs> was there a problem? Well, let's see. Golden Retriever hair, garish accessories, serious case of skank face. You're gonna have to be more clear. I saw you with Tinsley. Whoa, I didn't touch Tinsley. Liar, she was all over you. Oh, <laughs> that. Look, I broke up with Tinsley last year and she won't let it go. She got jealous seeing me with you and then she tried to jump me. Okay, I know what I saw, Bobby. So just... Fiona, I would never cheat on you. I love you. Okay, I'll let her know. Oh, Fifi. Mrs. Beckenridge just called. She wants to have dinner. Tonight? Well, uh, I can always cancel if you're still under the weather. Or you could just go without me. Bobby's gonna be there. Is everything okay? Things are just intense. Uh, well, you know you can be a little intense, Fiona. I know, but... Just remember what Dr. Chandra said. Don't go looking for problems that aren't there. Oh, I should get us a table at Jean-Georges for dinner tonight. Oh, wait, I have something for you. What's this? It came from Bobby. Open it. Oh, Aspen. You were probably too young to remember. 
onesie ski suits and fondue suisse. Declan and Bobby wouldn't let you into their snow fort, and you threw such a tantrum, you snow angeled right down to the grass. It was a handful, wasn't I? You had your moments. But they're all behind us now, right? Right. You're back. Yeah. Transferred. Out of music. Well, yeah, I figured that having a few classes together might come in handy, considering. Zeb, you love music. Yeah, but you come first right now. I do? I mean, yeah, uh, of course I do. So, what happens now? Um... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get bigger. Have you, have you told your parents yet? Not yet. Uh, I'd like you to be there when I tell mine. I mean, whatever happens, at least we'll be together. That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> you okay? It's not, it's not morning sickness. Oh, no, um, it's just... I never expected you to be so awesome. I couldn't let you go through this alone. Wow, um, <laughs> can you give me a sec? Yeah, uh, gotta go back to the ironing. <laughs> Turn it for rep, he's gonna rain. He's permanent, yeah? Like a nasty stain. He's so hot, he'll fog your glasses. He's king of all your grade 10 classes. Guys, stop now. <laughs> uh, my name is Dave Turner, and I do not approve this message. <laughs> um, but I am running for. Loser! <laughs> Biggest loser. He already won. Thanks for the support. Anyways, um, vote for me, uh, grade 10 class rep, because I will, um... 42, Claire. 42? Okay, your time limit for being upset about this stupid list has officially expired. Yeah, easy for you to say, Miss Number 3. What can I say? Do you realize the devastating effect this could have on my future? Yeah, you're right. What will the university say? Who cares about universities and talking relationships here? I mean, what guy's gonna want to date number 42? I could be single for weeks. Or months. Maybe even years. What about prom? Forget about it. But prom is the most important event in a young woman's life. Okay, I meant this list. Okay, you are the only one that cares about it. Hey, Alio. Can we talk? Yes, please. Come on. Okay, the loser list thing. Seriously, uncool. Can knock out my chances of becoming class rep. Ranking girls, Dave. I mean, you kind of asked for it. I only made that list so you could be number one. It was supposed to be right. Most guys just buy flowers. <laughs> Well, not most guys. And I had this whole speech planned out, you know, I was gonna tell you you're the hottest girl, and... You think I'm the hottest girl at the school? Yes. Now, could you say it again, just so I know how it would have sounded? Allie, you're smoking. The list? Bad. That? Good. You have my vote for class rep. <sighs> I don't want your vote. I just, I, I want you. <laughs> just mean we're just friends, Dave. With benefits. Tell anyone about this, and you're dead.
percent of my trust fund. That's how much I'll give you to come to dinner with the Beckenridges tonight. I told mom I'm not feeling well. No temperature. Palms are dry. Is this an imaginary illness? You got a name for this one? Just leave. You promise no drama. This time it's not my fault. Like it was in a Jakarta or Dubai? Come on, Fiona, this is a new start for us. Don't mess it up. I don't want to. Then come to dinner. You could order in. Sushi Samba or that new French place on Fifth. An embarrassed mom and dad with a no-show? That's not my style. Come on, please. Enjoy your snow globe. <laughs> can't eat, can't sleep. But then I'm like, what about Anya? You know, I can't imagine how hard this must be for you. Sav. Look, I know that we broke up and made up a hundred times but I, I want to make it work. Sav, I want to make it work, too. Well, woohoo. It'll be different this time. A whole new cricket match. <laughs> we have a pretty insane past, don't we? Um, yeah. We conceived a baby in a limousine. <laughs> Primo story material for our grandkids, right? Um, no, you're not telling our grandchildren <laughs> that story. Look at you, all presidential and decisive. <laughs> yeah, um... I don't think the whole president staff thing is going to happen. Okay, but being president means responsibility. Just like being a dad. It's practice. Yeah, all right. So, give me that list of baby names. I don't have one. <laughs> As if. I caught you <laughs> scribbling them down after our first date. Okay, well, if it's a boy, I always like the name Victor. Victor. I love it. <laughs> hey, sexy, is it hot stuff dance time? Ew. Oh, you're not Declan Skyping from Declan's computer. Are you okay? I don't know anymore. It's cryptic. Go on. It's like, why can't I be happy? Like you and Declan. It's like I'm not built the same way. Come on, Fee. What happened to your Prince Charming? Last I heard, Mama Coin is ready to book the plaza. Everyone thinks Bobby's so great. Like he's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Well, sweetie, if you don't, end it. Looks like you have company. You gonna be okay? If you need me, you know where I am. And take it easy on the dom. OK, bye. I got your text. If you're bailing on the lie, you better be here to get your marker on. Good news, I'm going to keep being pregnant. See you, posters. It's not even the best part. Sav and I are getting back together. Oh, you know you're going to have to tell him the truth, right? After elections? Not right after. Just need enough time for us to fall back in love. And then? I'll fake a miscarriage. Wow. Anya, that's a smidge dark. Well, what other way out do I have? I either fake a miscarriage or I fake a baby to term, and who would adopt a fake baby? Touche. It's a win-win for both of us. Whatever it takes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Please have campaign materials approved by administration before passing them out to the student body. Anyone looking for a position on student council? <sighs> Ali, I have an opening on the social committee. <sighs> Anyone? Cover right up. HJ, how's the campaign coming along? What are you doing? You know you won't be able to handle it for some very specific reasons. Well, when you have a strong support system, you can do anything.
see about that. You missed a killer dinner last night. Jean George is a genius. Bobby, please just leave me alone. Hey, are you still mad about the Tinsley thing? I told you it was a one-time thing. I thought nothing happened. Babe, I thought we were done talking about this. I don't care about Tinsley. Only you. Please don't be mad anymore. Who is it? Nobody. Well, I want to see. Back off. It's private. I thought it was a one-time thing. You are embarrassing yourself. Is that what you want? To be the crazy one again? I'm not crazy, you're a liar. Leave me alone or I'll tell people what you really like. You think that anyone will believe you? Hey, get back here! Leave me alone! Get back here! Don't mess with me, Fiona. I want to break up. No, you don't. <laughs> Whatever it takes, I know I can make it through. And if I hold out my love, I know I can make it through. I know I, I know I can make it through.